Hey, 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 it's Gavin here. Now, quick question for you. Do you think it's harder for women to lose weight as they get older? What do you reckon? Stick a yes, no, or a maybe down below in the comments and let me know what you think. Now, if I'm being honest, I would say it leans to more. Yes, it is more difficult, but nowhere near as difficult as a lot of people make it out to be. It's not as if your body drops off a cliff and then can't lose weight at all, okay? There's definitely things that you can do to combat weight gain and actually burn away some of that fat. So if you want to lose weight as you get older, definitely can, there's things you can do to sort that out. So let me rattle through a few of the things that may cause trouble for you. So the first one is muscle loss. So if you haven't got as much muscle, then you're not able to burn as much energy as you might have done in your 20s, 30s. And so it becomes more important to do a little bit of weight training or some sort of resistance training, whether it's resistance bands, kettlebells, even just body weight stuff, squats, push-ups, all those sorts of exercises that help you at least maintain your muscle mass and ideally try and grow that little bit more, okay? Definitely important that you do that as you get older. Also, for you ladies, it's good for stronger bones as well. So if you come through menopause, your bones are going to get a little bit weaker, especially as you get older. And then you need to do a little bit of weight training or resistance training, whatever it may be, to help you strengthen those bones. Now, next up is the stress. Okay, so there's a, there's a good chance in your 40s, 50s, you have progressed in your career if you're working. You may have kids at home as well. So there's a lot of stress, there's a lot of spinning plates, and it becomes quite stressful right so you no longer have the time to to go and uh, and just relax <laughs> go to a, a you know a coffee shop and, and read a newspaper or a book or things like that you know those are luxuries nowadays so it's definitely a lack of time and stress so that's definitely one of the one of the issues because that can affect your hormones and especially your cortisol levels your stress hormone and if you're highly stressed if you're not sleeping enough then that makes it very very difficult for you to lose belly fat Okay, so that's one of the other things that we need to sort out. And then just life in general. Okay, so if you have got kids, the lack of time that you may have, so to and fro in them from uh, school, sports clubs, dance, all those sorts of things where previously you might have used that time to do something for yourself. So that's definitely an issue. We have lack of time as well. So, and I touched on hormones there. So you're probably waiting for this one because this is probably the key one that uh, you will uh, will have realized as you're getting older. So going through pre-menopause, pre perimenopause, intermenopause, so estrogen drops off, so it at least reduces. And it's one of uh, kind of life's cruel tricks. So uh, in your 20s, 30s, it may have been the case that you store more fat in your hips, butt and thighs, and to a certain degree, it's quite stubborn to get rid of that fat. And as you come through into menopause, estrogen drops off and that means that you're now going to store more fat in your belly so if you're not doing a, as much exercise as you should you're eating too much food or the wrong types of food then it's going to be easier for you to store that as belly fat combine it with the stress lack of sleep it's going to make it very hard to get rid of as well however there are things that we can do to sort all of this out so the first one is sorting your diet out Okay, you know, everybody bangs on about this, but eating healthy, wholesome, whole foods, fruit, vegetables, lean meats, um, good fats, all those sorts of things will help you out. So staying clear, you know, eliminating those processed foods, junk foods, takeaways, all those sorts of things, at least reducing them to the bare bones. Okay, because if you, if you really want to lose weight, then the moderation, your effing in moderation is not really going to cut it. You need to have a little bit of sacrifice so that you can come back around to effing in moderation. So when you get down to your ideal weight, there's something you're happy with and you're, you're happy with your health and your fitness, then effing in moderation comes into play. But if you want to lose weight, if you want to flatten your belly and, and sort out your health, then effing in moderation doesn't really cut it, okay? I'm just going to point that out right now. Now, portion size as well. So we're talking about food, portion sizes, especially if you're dishing out food for the family, you know, your husband, your kids, um, is definitely a habit of giving similar portions or similar portion sizes to your husband that you would give to yourself or vice versa, the other way around really. Um, so watch your portion sizes, don't fall into that trap. And um, next up, get some sleep. You need to get more sleep. 
<laughs> it seems like I'm banging on about this every other day, but you women out there are really, really bad at getting enough sleep. You're running around, looking after everybody else, and burning the candle at both ends. You know, it finally comes to the end of the day and you chill out, you sit in front of the box and you'd be watching Netflix, Amazon, whatever it might may be. But it's actually better for you to get yourself to bed earlier, okay? Get that sleep. You need that seven to eight hours sleep. Otherwise, your hormones are never gonna recover. Your adrenals are gonna become fried and you're never gonna feel good, uh, let alone get rid of the belly fat, okay? So get some sleep, please. Um, next up is move more. So high intensity interval training, you know, the high intensity, the burpees, the, you know, jumping them down, sprints, all those sorts of things are great for fat loss, but you've got to have a balance, okay? In your 20s, 30s, you can get away with doing those HIIT workouts, banging them out, you know, five times a week, you know, doing burpees till, you know, the sun comes up. You can't do that as you get older, all right? You've got to have some sort of balance. So it's good to have that intensity, but not every time you work out. So a workout for you may be a walk, you know, yoga. Uh, it may just be a low intensity workout. You know, I've got a couple of my YouTube channels and, and Facebook where we're working out, but we're not trying to bust a gut. We're getting a sweat on, we're getting moving. It makes us feel good, good for the noggin. And that's, that's ideal because that's not stressing your body more so. So if you're already stressed, sometimes the last thing you want to do is throw more stress at it by doing a, a killer workout because that, it's kind of be counterproductive really. So bear in mind that. So move more, do your workouts, but walking, yoga, having a balance, okay? So not just doing the high intensity stuff, but also at the same time, not just doing the low intensity stuff. So you've got to have that balance, not just go one way or the other, okay? Find that balance. And finally, I think this is, this is the key thing for a lot of people. And this is why I said at the start that, that Yes, it's, it's harder to lose weight as you get older, but nowhere near as hard as people make it out to be. And this is the whole reason. If you want to lose weight, and I mean truly really want to lose weight, then you've got to plan or be better at planning and, and be better at organizing yourself. It's the, the old saying, and it's a bit of a cliche because it's said so, so often, it, but if you fail to plan, you plan to fail. Okay, so you've got to schedule your workouts. You've got to sit down at the start of the week, especially if you're doing all the cooking in the house, you've got to sit down at the, at the start of the week, maybe a Sunday night, and plan out the meals for the week, even, even if it's just dinner. You know, make sure you've got them in place so you know what you're doing. Delegate the jobs, I've said this before, get your spouse involved, your husband, get them to do some of the cooking, making sure that it's not all on you, okay? Share it out, get the kids involved in the prep, definitely get them to set the table. They should be setting the table anyway. So you shouldn't be doing everything, okay? You need to bring down your stress levels, and I've said this before as well, but ask for their support. So you tell them, I want to do something for my health to feel better and I need your support. Uh, so I've said this <laughs> plenty recently, but guilt trip them, get them say, look, I don't want to feel like this anymore. Okay, I want to sort out my health. I want to be healthier, happier and get their help. Okay, so that's going to help you plan and be better organized also. So they're my tips. So once again, now, now you've heard what you can do, are you doing that? Or are you just kind of using age as an excuse? What do you think? Let me know. All right, so I'm gonna leave it at that. Um, hope you enjoyed this uh, video and make sure you give me a, a thumbs up, like, share it, um, you know, random people in the street, all those sorts of things, let them know. And any other questions, pop them down below. Love to hear from you. Okay, bye for now.